but I was told that a couple of videos that I sent were a bit choppy and you couldn't really hear what I was doing. Uh, so a couple more, more practice for you here. So let me turn these off. You can see the equation work equals force times distance. So you can see um, with our equation work times distance, I'm going to use joules. That's a new unit that we had yet. Uh, and that's really going to be related to energy, uh, which next unit. Newton, which we did last unit, and then distances in meters. So those are all things that we've done in the past. I have a pro practice problem here. Let's say a man, this is one of the problems on your sheet uh, that's on your hyperdoc. So a guy's going to push rate a distance of 4 meters with a force of 55 newtons. So pretty simple math here, pretty simple equation. I just take the force number and the distance number, plug them into my, into my so work. Equals 5 newtons times 4 meters. That's going to give me 220 joules. So 220 joules worth of work, uh, or that amount of work, was put into pushing that crate that distance. So now let's look, manipulate an equation here. What if I have, I have force, but I don't have the distance? So uh, we did a lot of these in class when we were with together. So if I have 4 joules, which is the work, equals 30 newtons times. I'm not going to the distance, I'll just write that. I don't want to get um, the distance by itself. Why well, divide both sides by 30? I'm going to get the distance equals, and if I'm doing my math right, I believe this is 1.25 meters. I should probably check that, huh? So 40 divided by 30. Oh, excuse me, 1.33 meters. 1.33 meters. Um, would be the distance if I knew that this was the work and this was the force that was used. So now how about a power problem? Power, we say equal work divided by time. Uh, our new unit for power is a watt. Uh, and we, uh, in the notes and on one of my, my previous videos, we talked about how we're gonna use kilowatts uh, a lot, or you'll see that a lot because watt is such a small unit. Um, so a kilo, kilo means Thousand, so a kilowatt thousand watts work would be joule and time would be seconds. So I have my units, so let's do a practice problem. So here I have the units. The power, I don't know. We get 75 joules. The time is seconds. Easy plug these numbers into up there. So power equals 75 by 10 seconds. Again, pretty simple math. It's pretty easy examples right now. This is going to give, give me 7.5 watts. Okay. So, problems you have your fraction you can do. Uh, make sure you take a look at it. Uh, and we will go over a bunch of these problems on Monday and Tuesday of next week.